Tell me what you're gonna do. Oh, I think I'm gonna resell them. I sell them on eBay. Oh, of course you do. Let me go and check if you can fit in my car. Okay, you get it okay? Oh, no, that's uh, Noah. <laughs> we have we have a uh, couple grandson named Noah. He's a lot 14, of stuff he's not little. <laughs> that's true, but he, to me, he's still little. Remember, mine are in their 30s. Do you have any video games stations? I don't think, does he have any video games in this? No, I didn't think so. I don't remember seeing that. He's been really into video games. He's into video games and shoes. And he's 14, I guess. Oh, he's a $5 one. Okay, I thought you did. Did you change? I was asking. That Furby works awesome. I have, I know it's not, I have 30 on it because I just saw it for $55 and that was not working. This one works. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. I just saw it for $55. I don't know what it is. Oh, you can get it for $30. Yeah, it's like 30 bucks. Yeah, it's like 30 bucks. Okay. Any old Nintendo stuff? Uh, I don't like. I think the Nintendo. He got that into Nintendo. I'm gonna get your glove. I understand perfectly. All right, and who's? Let me see who's. Nino. Nino. Okay, so that was a dollar. Is all this sold already? Yes. Okay. This is all sold right here. How much are your Legos? 50 bucks for that thing. 50 bucks for the tub. It's about. Is there more underneath? No. It's no, just it's everything just, here? There's, there's probably, yeah, it's probably close to a thousand dollars. It's got more. It's got, it's got every possible thing that you could possibly want. I'll buy it for 50. Okay. And uh, how much are your hats? Uh, Debbie, how much for the hats? Debbie, how much for the baseball hats? Dollar piece. All right. I paid her for the glove. I'll go ahead and pay you for the uh, Legos and the hats. There it is 51. All right. Thank you much. Thank Appreciate you, sir. So Good luck with the sale. Right. Thanks. Morning. I'm gonna buy your suitcase. Okay. I'll keep looking around, see what else I can find. Um, that one's like forty. Forty? Mm -hmm. Are they all American Girl? Um, I think it is. I think it's an American Girl that they cut its hair to make it look like a little boy. Oh, oh. interesting. <laughs> so. Sorry. The game, well, $5 a piece. $50. How much are these dolls? Those, um, I don't know. Um, like $10 a piece. How about 15 for the pair? Okay. Okay. And I owe 25 for the uh, suitcase. Right. So I owe you 40 bucks. Okay. Let me get you something to wrap those in. Okay. Thank you. Interesting girdle. Yes. Huh. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Would you take 15 for this? Yeah. Okay, thank you. He didn't want me to buy it when I did buy it. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Good luck to you.
Do you have the remote for this? You know, there, there's probably one in the box of remote stuff, but I'd have to do a un universal probably. Dad had so much electronics and he didn't have things ordinary. Okay, what are you asking for it? Five bucks? I'll do that. All right. Where's the box of remotes? Let's see. Okay, that's the computer box. Let me look. I think there's some underneath those knickknack things right there in front of the glass shelf. Okay, let me let's pull cool them out. I believe so. Ah, uh, yeah, there they are. Yeah, I found it. You found them. I did. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Here's for the uh, DVD player. Thanks, Thank you. Sir. Good luck to you. Thank you. Morning. There you go. All right, very Thank good. you. Thank Have you. a good day. You too. Morning. Still on your TV? No, you can have it if you want it. Yeah? yeah? I'll sell it. I think I'll stick with this today. There you go, thank you. Uh-huh. What would you want for it? Five dollars. Five bucks. Does it work, do you know? Yeah, it works. I'll give you five bucks for it. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll stick with this one. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. How much are these? Oh my gosh, I have no idea. Are you interested in one? No, I'd buy them all. You're, what? Three dollars for the whole bunch? There Is might be okay? another guy over here somewhere. I yeah, think. that's fine. Okay. Tell me what you're gonna do. Oh, I think I'm gonna resell them. I sell them on eBay. Oh, of course you do. Yeah. <laughs> so you'll make three dollars easily, don't you? Hopefully, we'll see. Yeah. Thank you. Good luck with right, the sale. Thank you. Yeah. I sold the fun boxes. I think I can still afford them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you know, for one, Looking for a certain one? Um, I'm just checking to see. I mean, most of them are newer. Or There's a couple oh, older ones. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, it is now Monday morning. I went to seven or eight garage sales on Saturday and they were really scattered all over the place. The season is definitely winding down, not as many sales now, and you gotta drive a lot farther to go to them. I think I drove like 75 to 100 miles to hit all these sales, but I'm glad I did because I found a lot of good stuff. I got this Samsonite suitcase. I thought it was really nice thinking about keeping it maybe, but my wife says we've got plenty of them, so I'm probably just gonna sell it. Has all the tags and everything. It's called the Easy Cart. 
I paid $25 for it, and retail, I think it goes for about $140 is what I was seeing. So I might try to get $60, $70 bucks for it, something like that, and just try to sell it local. Because as big as it is, it would cost a fortune to ship. I got this Zenith VCR DVD player with the remote. Paid $5 for that. I saw a sold comp of $56 plus shipping. Got a whole tote of vintage trolls. I've never seen any this old. So this one says Thomas Dam 1977. Normally when I find them, they're from the 80s and the 90s. I looked up this very same one and it was selling for $46 free shipping. So I'm probably going to list that one separately. And the rest of these I might just lot up and do like an auction. Found this really cool teapot. I was looking for some kind of maker on it. I mean, I was looking everywhere and I could not find one. Uh, I just went ahead and bought it for the three bucks because it was so cool looking. And then later I did a Google image search and it popped up that it is by Kamenstein. I'm guessing it is a German maker and same one sold for $28 plus shipping. Got these two porcelain uh, Harley baby dolls. Got a boy wearing a bandana, a girl wearing glasses and a little hair tie. I paid 15 for the pair. Comps are kind of all over the place, to be honest. I saw some cheap ones, some high ones, so I'll just throw them on and see what I can do. I think there's a little bit of profit to be made on those. Got this cool vintage Cincinnati Reds hat. The box of hats that they had, I was looking at at the sale, almost all of them were modern, but this one is most definitely vintage. The tag has been ripped out, but I'm almost positive it's by Twins Enterprise, just by some other similar ones I've seen out there. I couldn't find a sole comp on this, but I'm going to try to get about 30 or 40 bucks for it. I paid a dollar. Got a bird feeder, new in the box for $2. I actually just got a couple of shepherd's hooks, so I'm going to keep this at the shop because we've got trees all around us, so I thought it'd be cool to have a bird feeder here. Got this Cuisine Art electric grill for 15 bucks, and I saw the same one sell for $70 plus shipping. Most people look right past stuff like this because it's kind of a pain to ship. It's bulky and heavy and just awkward. So a lot of times you can find this stuff for a pretty good deal and make some money on it because a lot of resellers just don't want to mess with it. Got a little Mizuno glove for a dollar. I'm just going to add this with my collection of gloves. Uh, around like late February, early March, I do auctions for big love lots because that's right when baseball season's starting and they do end up doing pretty good. I found this Sony Trinitron TV and at first when I saw it, I was thinking it was just too beat up and kind of gross to even mess with and the label right here is gone. That They had a little decal there that said Sony and it was falling off and I was thinking, I just don't want to mess with this. But then I looked it up and one that was partially working sold for 200 bucks uh, gamers really like these old tvs they've got a good collector's market they're really heavy they're a pain to ship uh, but they do sell so if you come across the sony trinitrons at least look it up i got a huge tote of legos for 50 bucks this was kind of funny because the guy was saying like there's a thousand dollars worth of legos in here and honestly even if you bought all this brand new retail i don't think it'd be a thousand dollars there's maybe you know 25 30 pounds so there's definitely a lot of legos in here i think what i'm probably gonna do is pull out the minifigures and maybe sell those off like auction them off like one big lot of minifigures and then just bulk sell the rest i'm really hoping it's all lego and there's no mega blocks in here because sorting these things and trying to figure out what's what can just be a pain and I really don't like doing it so I don't think there's huge risk with the 50 bucks that I paid for I should get maybe 100 150 bucks something like that that is it for this video guys thanks for watching I'll see you next time